comes Trevor Bauer making his second start at Dodger Stadium in a Dodger uniform. And this one is in the air to deep left field. Back goes A.J. Pollock. He is at the wall. And Fernando has left the building again. And, you know, with the way the ball has been traveling, a lot of hard hit balls to the warning. Seventh pitch. Got him swinging with the high fastball. And on three consecutive pitches. Sprung for six left. Left center. Who will it be? Peters with the fifth start. High ERA. Just a little bit over four. Betts smacks one on the ground. Cronenworth position well. 2-2. Two, two. And he ties him up with strike three. Two into one, two, three first. Center field base hit on the 13th pitch. 2-2 two, two flies home. Cronenworth watches a pinpoint fastball. One gone. Runner takes off. Pitches down and in. Smith's throw not in. And this one is lined to center field. It'll get in. Myers being waved around. DJ Peters up and throwing in the throw up the line. A significant roll. Mookie Betts. Two. Hit on the ground in second. Sheldon Noisy with a nice play. 2 2. First base runner of the game for the Dodgers. Ground ball off the mound. Cronenworth with the backhand is back towards the wall and caught by Trent Grisham. The noisy. Right center field, but Myers will run on two from Bauer. He swings through a fastball, and Bauer wins the second matchup. Swings and misses at a fastball. He struck out both times. It's another slider, and it's chopped to third for Justin Turner. And a swing and a miss at 97. And that is right down the middle for strike three. Back to back strikeouts for Blake Snell. Two on base here. Back to back two out hits. Here comes Turner with a base hit to left center field to bring home Bats. Seegers into third safely. RBI single Justin Turner. Oh, strike three call, he got a call. Did he go? He did. A strikeout to open the fourth. Shallow center, Peters is under it. Three Seeger. And on eight pitches, a one, two, three, four. Fighting Irish, AJ. Muncie. Ball four, the first two reach. They've got Noisy caught in a rundown. Throw to second is... Bounces one to third for Manny Machado. Running. He makes Bauer run down. How much of that is mental? Turner. For the first out. Three straight curveballs to Caratini to strike him out. Pitcher, Trevor's got it. Snell lines out to Turner at third. Pitch to Mookie Betts. He went, I think. They check, and yes, he did. Right spin. So far, still coming. Tumbling. Pitch. Ball four. Second walk. So the line, that's a third ball past Machado. Ricochets to Profar, and that'll keep Turner from coming home. Swing and a miss, and Snell strikes him out. There's a fly ball headed towards deep left center field. Back goes DJ Peters at the wall. Nando's left the building again. Soft bouncer to Muncie. One out. And he got him. I see you. Radio, everybody's talking this series. Bauer gets out of the way and it gets under Turner. I'm seeing the replay right now. Oh, shoot. Another one two comes home. He got him to go. Nine strikeouts from Bauer. Throw him a fastball. Chops softly to Cronenworth. Field that will drop in for, him for Sheldon Noisy. Swing to left. First successful pinch hit of the year. Beatty swings a base hit. They will hold Sheldon Noisy with Mookie Betts coming up. This game is tied. Mookie Betts with the bases loaded. Two Seeger hits a great base hit center field. The Dodgers take the lead. A two-run single from Seeger. Now they're stringing the hits together. Got him with a high fastball. From Hill is bounced to short for Fernando Tatis Jr. Goes to It's a leadoff walk for Cronin. One, two. Struck him out. Got him to chase the fastball. Comes. Center and down for a base hit. 
Fanon, it's in for a base hit. The runners hold. Yanks it. Coming from third base will be Cronenworth. He's in. And it's a one run ball game. Got him to chase. Good slider from Trenton. Hit. His second one tonight. His payoff pitch is in the dirt. He gets really swinging. To second. Cronenworth feeds Tatis. There's the call. Instead of cutter to get him looking. Zarek Hosmer into center field. Base hit. One, two. Myers with a bouncing ball to short. Seeger shovels to Taylor on the first. Not in time. Flies home. That hit him. Hit. Both runners go. Smith throws to second. No chance to get either. Profar pulls it on a bounce to Rios, who just checked into the game. Bouncing ball and short right Machado. Three run six. Bounces one, two, Tatis it short. And that's his ball. Got him. 2 1 Turner. Myers to the track with just enough room. He struck him out looking. Walked him, and Tatis comes. Up. There goes Mateo on a strike. Smith's throw, not in time. The short. Muncie throws Tatis. He struck him out and slams the door. Jansen tonight you had a four out save how good though did it just feel to get this win especially coming off those back to back losses oh man that's great that's great I mean the way how these guys are playing us you know they playing us hard you know like the playoffs so you know the fans are rocking you know I feel like a playoffs atmosphere so it's good to just you know win a ball game today and and finish that losing streak and how was it to see the bullpen to step up tonight, especially considering Corey Knable getting hurt last night? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to put your heart for him, you know. Um, he's been pitching um, tremendous. And, you know, what he, what he went through, you know, to all those injuries. And, you know, he finally got back being healthy and throw the ball well. And for him to have a little bit, you know, um, tweak in his lad. So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. How it goes, and you know this one is just to just pick him up, and and it feels great. And offensively tonight, it felt like things were finally clicking for this team. As you were watching, what stood out to you about the offensive performance? Uh, you know, I'll be saying it. Um, you know, we've been playing well this 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 year, but you know, you, we didn't see the offense click yet. So whenever you know they get on their row, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, and. Um, you know, today is the day that we got to pick them up. Um, you know, they come, they come from behind, they fight against good pitching, and, you know, it's great to pick them up. And you found yourself in a position tonight with a tying run on base. Fernando Tatis Jr. Yeah. brought two home runs yeah. tonight. What was the focus for you? Um, just, you know, one pitch at a time with him. Um, make sure that, you know, I just make pitches, and that's what I did, you know. Um, um, and we, we, we got we got the win. Thanks, Kenley. Thank you, Trevor. I guess just first, um, what do you think of your overall outing today? I thought I was really good, actually. Um, thought I had probably the best command of my slider that I've had all year. I thought my curveball was really good. Fastball command was good. Velo was good. So I, overall, I thought it was really good. To Machado, was it just basically throw him sliders until he hits it there, or what was kind of the approach there today? Yeah. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one more thing for me. Tatis, he, he, he did the McGregor strut, he bat flipped, he closed one eye as he run the first. It, does that bother you or is that just part of the personality that the game kind of seems to be missing a little bit? No, I want to I say something about that because I think it's important. Um, you know, he did it in the first. I didn't see it because I was paying attention to doing my job. And then he did it again when he homered off me again later in the game. Their dugout was doing it, um, and I, I like it. I, I think that pitchers who have that done to them and react by throwing at people or you know getting upset and hitting people or whatever, 
I think uh, I think it's pretty soft. Um, if you give up a homer, the guy should celebrate it. You know, he, it's hard to hit in the big leagues. Uh, so I'm all for it, and I think it's it's important that you know the game moves in that direction, and we stop throwing at people because they celebrated having some success on the field. Uh, another one of those moments today, I got uh, Hosmer on a a curveball in the dirt and hit him with a sword celebration. And the next at bat, he hit a curveball at my face and gave me the sword celebration at first. And we kind of laughed about it, and we got a little history together. We played against each other for many years, and that's what it, that's what it is to be a competitor, you know? Like, I'm going to go at you, and I'm going to get you sometimes, and then you're, you're going to get me sometimes. So we can have fun, and we can celebrate it while we're still competing at the highest level. And uh, I just thought that was an important note tonight. Next question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Trevor, we know this with Manny Machado. You used the slider a lot there. Was that the game plan ahead of the game, or what kind of led to that decision? Yeah, I mean, it's always the game plan. Um, last time I just didn't do it for whatever reason. Uh, but it's my best pitch to righties. So I, it's always the game plan to throw sliders to righties, and then you read based on what they're doing. Uh, how they react to it, and then you know I had a, I had a really good slider tonight, so it was a lot easier to to lean on it because I felt like I could throw it where I needed to. And there was that moment there where the ball kind of almost hit you. You landed, you fell to the ground. Did your life somewhat flash before your eyes in that moment? I don't know if it was my life. It was probably the ball. Uh, it was like <laughs> I don't know how it didn't hit me honestly. I uh, I actually told. Pause at first. I was like, "Hey, bro, you almost killed me." Kind of laughed about it, but I'm not kidding. I mean, it was it was really really close. Were you there in the six, you broke the tie with a two-run single. What was working really so well offensively today? Um, you know, we just put some good swings and balls. Um, we grinded tonight. You know, uh, we've had some unluck here in the last couple of days, and just to finally get some hits through, you know, it was nice. Would you have said that the hitting was contagious? Really, considering that almost everyone in the lineup contributed. Um, yeah, you know, just passing the baton, um, just keeping the line moving. Um, everybody grinded out IBs. Um, everybody did their job tonight, and we got a win. Thanks, Corey. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Go ahead. Yeah, Corey, when they took uh, Blake Snell out in the sixth inning, did you have flashbacks to a recent game where the same thing happened? Um, no, no, I didn't. You weren't thinking about game six of the World Series? No, I was thinking about tonight. Thanks. Next question is from Nick Hamilton. Go ahead. Hey, Corey. Uh, did, was something talked about uh, between last night and today's game as far as just getting you guys ready and getting you guys to, uh, ready offensively uh, versus what happened last night? Um, no, you know, there's a lot of professionals in this clubhouse and um, everybody goes about their business. Everybody knows what they need to do to get ready. And I think we've done that and just kind of been unlucky. You know, we've, we've had good ABs. We've had moments where we've hit ball hard and we're just – I haven't had that big hit in that moment to kind of pass the baton and keep things going, and tonight we did. Next question is from Michael Duarte. Go ahead. Yeah, Corey, I know you said that um, it's just another series and that you guys are living in the moment, staying in the, in the day, but is it fun playing these guys, these close competitive games that, you know, are very close down to the wire? Um, yeah, you know, it's always fun playing your division. Um, it's, always in, it's always more intense. It's always – more specific, you know, you know the guys more. Um, it's more planned out, more prepared. So these games in division are they're always a lot more fun. You know, just being around guys, knowing who they are, trying to adapt and play the game more and more throughout the the, the years. And it, it's 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 always been like well, that. The Dodgers win this one by a final of five four. Kenley Jansen able to get the final four outs to hold on. Yeah, it's nice to see the Dodgers win again. They've got a chance to preserve the streak of not losing a series here at home with a big possible win tomorrow night. As Dustin May takes the ball for the Dodgers, Dodgers try to keep their 16-series unbeaten streak going.
going. Yeah, it would be good for the offense to continue right at the very beginning of the game. Let Dustin yeah. kind of, you know, filter into this and, and get into this outing. I really think that for the young man to be able to land his breaking ball or really attack in the zone, it'd be more comfortable if they can get him some early runs. All right, the game exclusively on ESPN tomorrow, 4 o'clock Los Angeles time. We'll be back with you on Monday when the Reds come to town.